Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi and this is Crypto Teddy. Can you say hello? Hello. Hello, my name is Teddy. Yes. No. Teddy wants some more crap. <laughs> Teddy. Um, guys, short TA update on this beautiful Monday. Let's look at the charts. Um, I have three really cool charts and other standard update charts on bitcoin but they also show where we can go now from this moment on on this beautiful monday cloudy monday and the graph but uh, i'm happy a little bit of shade and not too much sun for a day now let's jump into the chart that i was talking about Bam, We'll start, of course, with the four-hour chart. I use the Oryx platform. Um, sign up to Oryx using my link, and you will get some extras. Guys, uh, this is the four-hour chart. It seems that we are moving inside this channel. You see here, we come into the channel. Oh, wait, <laughs> that's the wrong button, Didi. Um, we come into the channel, we go to the top, we go to the bottom, we go to the top, we come down, we go to the top again, we come down, and we want to go to the top again. The top now is around uh, 75. Uh, 57 sorry uh, k 58k which is a beautiful number for bitcoin which should be a target normally when uh, we look at the charts and um, if we look at the bam bam indicator very quickly guys let's see um if that long that we just saw was there on the screen as well and um, oh, okay let's see guys because it's important to see on the four hour chart if there was a long um, there was a long flag like you can see over here the long flag over there there was a candle closing above the yellow stepping line there was a lot of green coming in the green line on was on top and yes the bam did cross over there so that's like a triple confirmation of the long and um, you would still be in this four hour long um, at the moment with a profit let's get in late and uh, the profit of like 2.3 percent with a leverage of 10 of course a bigger profit and yes there is still some upward movement possible and where can we go oh wait maybe we can check this chart because in Aurox, look we have multiple charts which is really awesome um, just a quick check yes we bounce off that red level and we are going to hunt for that purple top level of 63k also there we are exactly uh, on schedule do we have any other chart here that i want to share with you guys this one let's check yes i talked about it the rsi is above 60 we can still go all the way up to the level of 90 that we were there so yes that would be a huge push to 78 80 k something like that beautiful possibility over there as well bam next chart it's going to take too long else uh this is a four hour chart i drew before and the yellow line i said to you guys we will go because of the w pattern we go up we will test the neckline we did test the neckline over there and then we will go up again that was a beautiful prediction and now we run into resistance and why is this resistance if we zoom out a little bit <clears throat> we can see that that level we are running into now was a level that we ran into many times and many times it was resistance but when we broke it we went up hugely and then it became support and it became support and here again it became uh, we dropped down below it and here again it was resistance so uh, that's why this level is important you can see a lot of troubles over there so that is why uh, we need to break a green line now as soon as possible and go up to yeah up to here something 55k that would be a beautiful target guys next chart bam over here uh, the gaussian channel like i said i will keep tracking it one day and 17 hours every candle is five days and um, if this one closes above that beautiful gaussian channel that means that we are going to have a bigger move to the upside because getting out of this gaussian channel is a lot of work like you can see every candle is five days it took us a lot of days to get out and if we get out that is very positive guys bam some more cool charts and um, these charts let's see where my face is on the chart that's okay um i'll make my face a little bit smaller like this and um, this guys is the 
MVRV score. Um, every time we get into the green area, we need to buy. Every time we get into the pinkish area, we need to sell. We were in the green area <coughs> the last time in March, and now we came close to it, but now we are going up again. So we are waiting now for the moment that we get into this pinkish area again, and that is the moment you start to exchange your Bitcoins into a stable coin, because that's the moment the market will turn around again. Like you can see in the past, every time when we got into or above that pinkish area, the price dropped. Into the pinkish area, the price dropped. Into the pinkish area, the price dropped. Into the pinkish area, the price, price dropped. So this is what we expect. If we get into that pinkish area again, then please be aware that we are close to um, exchanging our whole, exchanging our trading portfolio, sorry, into stable coins. Bam. That is also what you can see here on the stock to flow deflection. Um, this means if we get above the level of one, that is the moment that Bitcoin is overpriced. If we stay below the level, then we are like undervalued. So this green is going to go above the level of one, turn red, and then we will get into the last part of the bull market. Like you can see, every time in those bull markets, we are completely red. 2017, we went completely red. Now we are at the level of 0 0.45. When we were at the 0 0.45 in 2017, and we were at the price of around two and a half thousand US dollar. When from that level we went all the way to the top over there, and that made us go from two and a half thousand to 20k. Now we are again at the level of 0 0.45, we are just at uh, 50k. So if we go back to the level of three or four, and that means that the price will increase tremendously from here. And we will see the 150 to 200k U, uh, US dollar per Bitcoin, guys. Okay, cool charts, really cool charts. Now let's jump into two more cool charts. Bam, yes, this one, um, of course, you all know this one. This is the stock to flow model uh, by Plan B. Um, he just tweeted today, I think, or yesterday, I don't know for sure anymore, <coughs> that um, we didn't see red dots yet. And every time the top in the market here and here in 2017, we see red dots. Blue dots is the bottom, red dots is the top. We are now in the yellowish dot, dots. We need to see red dots above this line. This is the average line that would be above 100k. So we are on track when it comes to the stock to flow model. We just need to create a few red dots that come above the white line and that would also be an indication for you. So. If you follow that white line, in the future, we would come above 1 million US dollar. Is this strange? Um, bam. No, it's not that really strange. Because if you look at this chart, created by Charts BTC, by the way, guys, you can see it over there. Um, then you see that if you look at the movement from 2012, <coughs> that's the bottom line, by the way, guys. So 2012 to 2013, 14, 15, this movement, um, you see the line evolving into 2017 to 2021 and we will go somewhere like this now now if we take the line from 2016 to 2021 over here you can see of course we will go to the top of course we will have this pullback maybe so like this and then again we will go up oh sorry and then again we will go up of course like that and that would reach the level of 1 million US dollar per Bitcoin somewhere in 2025 this is what people are expecting and I, I, I'm saying people, am expecting the same. That is why I hold all my Bitcoins. Bam, that is why I don't exchange 80% of my Bitcoins into stable currencies. Only 30 to 40% depending on how, much, how big my um, trading portfolio is. The rest, I just safely huddle on my hardware wallets. Um, yes, in some places all over the world, uh, just to make sure that I keep those Bitcoins till 2025, maybe even 2030. Who knows how high Bitcoin can go? The market cap is still very tiny, like you saw in the other videos. If you compare it to all the market caps like real estate or stocks, we are still tiny. There's a lot of growth potential. Guys, that was everything for today. A nine minute video is long enough. I hope you really enjoyed all the charts. If you did enjoy the charts, give the charts a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. Please leave a comment, um, hit the notification bell, and yes, 
that, that was not like fluently, did he? You need to do it again. Give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing, beautiful Monday and the rest of a beautiful week, and see you tomorrow again in another TA update on Bitcoin. Bam!